you know, this, this is some of my earliest memories. Yeah, I'd be running around here, and when the ladies weren't looking, I'd steal a little bit of their crab meat and shovel it in and run out the back and fish right off the pier. Uh, I'm Travis Todd. I am a third generation restaurant guy here at Ocean Odyssey in Cambridge, Maryland. Yeah, well, I've been here since I could stand on a milk crate and wash dishes. You know, if you were a Todd, you worked, and that's all there was to it. It was summer camp in lacrosse for some kids, and it was working in the crab factory for us. You know, not that we didn't get to do both, but uh, so in, in one form or another, I've been here. You know, since '86, just running around most of the time, running around when I was younger, just getting in everybody's way that was trying to work, trying to steal chicken tenders from behind the line, and just being a menace. We're really trying to provide an area where people can sit down and enjoy themselves with their family, drink some really good beer, and uh, make a night out of it. We do um, predominantly mostly seafood, but we certainly have other things available as well. We have a part on the menu that's just cut of the day, and we never really know what it's going to be because the markets for that's up and down, so the descriptions just might be beef, might be venison, might be chicken, might be pork, won't be tofu, you know, and that's really all we can promise on that. Uh, we're doing uh, Greek meatballs, you know, feta, oregano, lemon. Some, we wanted some flavors that really kind of were bright, were aggressive. We want to smack their taste buds around a little bit. Just get a good quality meat, you know, don't, don't be afraid of having some fat in the meat. You know, fat is good, you're making meatballs, just go for it. Then take uh, onions and garlic and just sweat those down in olive oil. Don't overcook them, just loosen them up, tenderize them, and kind of get that flavor pulled out into the oil. And then really the magic comes with the, uh, the fresh herbs. You want some fresh herbs in there. We have about nine varieties of herbs growing right out back of the restaurant, so I just went and clipped some oregano right now. Soak some bread in milk. That'll just give it, um, you know, an extra, a lot of moisture and just some fluff. Just make the meatball kind of lighter in your mouth. And then what you're going to do is basically just start combining. Um, we don't have an exact recipe. We, you know, we don't always follow that. A lot of it is to taste. You get a big mixing bowl. You start adding what you think is right. Salt, pepper, throw in your herbs, the onions and garlic, the breadcrumbs. And you're just going to start stirring that up. And basically what you do is just make a little test meatball, you know, and just cook it right on your stove top. It doesn't have to be big. Just make that, taste it. If you like it, stop adding stuff. If you think it needs something else, add some more to it, you know, and that's, you just keep doing that till you get the flavor where you want it. And then you start weighing them out. Do that and then we'll, when we'll sear them off and, and bake them once they've been seared. Then you just pull them out and you want to squeeze a good bit of fresh lemon over top of them. Hit them with salt and pepper over top of them. And then lastly, throw your feta on top. So the meatballs today are going to go with uh, the chicory stout. A sessionable, nice, dry uh, stout with the chicory root and a bit, it's got a bit of coffee in there as well, right? So yeah, uh, it's kind of going to be a pretty happy marriage there.